Greetings fellow gardeners. It is another absolutely beautiful day here in Hawaii. I'm standing in the midst of uh, some Copenhagen market cabbages. Uh, they're planted directly into native earth here with the uh, chicken manure as a fertilizer and the weeds are beginning to come up between the rows. Now I've been covering some weeds we did herbicides the other day and so I'm gonna continue talking about what do we do with those pesty old weeds. Now let's take a close look at what I've got here. So, if you look down here between these cabbages you can see that we've got some teeny weeny little seedlings here. These guys are ageratums. Uh, that's a <laughs> pretty common uh, annual seeding weed here in Hawaii. These weeds right now are in the absolute perfect state for control. They're teeny weeny little tiny guys. They just came up from seeds. It will take almost nothing to destroy these right now. So if you wait longer to get in and start doing your weed control, it gets harder and harder and harder. Now, there are three common ways that we might do something about the weeds that are out here in this patch. Um, one way is cultivation. and That's traditional. It's, a, it's been used for a long, long time with vegetables. Now, cultivation is, uh, could be twofold. You could be using tools like this right here. This is what's known as a scruffle hoe or a strap hoe or patented name hula hoe because of the way you move when you use it. Um, these are probably one of the only major <laughs> improvements in hand cultivation tools in about the last 5,000 years. Okay, now the way these things work is, is take them like this, lay them down there on the earth you know, kind of a little flex in your knees so you're not using your back to do this. And then we just hang on to them just like that and run them back and forth, back and forth. And uh, it is very important when we do this that we only go maybe a half an inch to an inch or so into the soil because if you go deeper than that, what you'll do is you're going to turn up all sorts of buried weed seeds. And once those come to the surface, they're going to germinate. And so you'll create more weeds if you cultivate too deeply. So when trying to get rid of weeds, cultivate shallow. An inch or so is about right. Okay. Now I'm going to go through here and I'm going to use this tool to cultivate between every one of my cabbages, okay? Well, I went between my cabbages and right next to them and I used the strap hoe and I cleaned up my little seedlings. But now, let's talk about weed flamers. This one right here is a propane flamer. It's made by Burnzomatic. Um, they're not terribly expensive. You can get them on Amazon or find them at your local hardware stores or so on. Um, they run on propane, uh, that's clean fuel. They're not gonna leave any residue in the garden. Um, <clears throat> and basically all we have to do is we dehydrate the weeds with one of these. So, turn on the knob. Hit the igniter. Go. We do not have to cook or burn the weeds. Just hitting them this fast is enough to dehydrate all of them. They won't survive this. Especially because these are little tiny weeds. Now I'm gonna bet that there's guys out there right now watching this video in California going, oh my God, Bill, don't use that thing. Oh, you're gonna burn the state down. Well, I'll tell you what, where I live, we get 150 inches of rain a year. Um, <laughs> it's pretty hard to set anything on fire around here. Well, there we go. 
that simple, that fast. Turn that off before I burn something to the ground here. Yeah, it, this is really a good approach because unlike herbicides and even the organic ones like vinegar, uh, this won't leave any kind of residue. All right, there's no residue from this whatsoever. Uh, it's fairly quick because you don't have to, as I say, incinerate the weed. Um, just simply dehydrating the weed by passing by it quickly is usually enough on seedlings to get them all to just die, okay? So you don't have to make them go away, you just give them a little cooking action is all it takes. Um, I like to use the strap hole between the cabbages here because that way I'm not going to endanger the cabbages by getting too close with the flamer. I have a 400,000 BTU road tar flamer that I also use around here, but that thing is so wild, hot, and crazy that y you can't use it between vegetables. I have to basically have a big open area when the, I'm not cultivating anything in there and go out and we can flame everything, and then when I'm done, I'll plant. Uh, but this guy here is small enough. You can go down through rows of corn with it. You can go between the cabbages as long as you're moving fast enough. That's the main thing. Stay away from the foliage and move quickly. So these tools are relatively inexpensive, easy to use. They're easy on your back and, and on the elbows and the arms and the wrists. So if you have trouble using a hoe, try using one of these because they really don't take too much energy. Um, the real beauty of this tool though is that even the strap hoe is going to turn up some more weed seeds. With this tool, when you go by and you flame, there's no seeds left there anymore. They're gone. And if you haven't turned it up, then you're not going to get any new ones. And so this type of tool is much better at keeping the weeds from coming back quickly. Alrighty, well, there's another chapter in how to weed your garden. Maloha, y'all hang loose and have a good time. Stay safe, be well.